What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and it's 2024 and we're here with the first Cool Tech episode of the year. After we've come back from CES and checked out some amazing things, there've also been some products that we explored during the holiday season and coming into 2024 that are both unique, interesting, and that is what this series is all about. In this video, we have a new cool keyboard as well as a new mic system. There's also the interesting Dyson Zone headphones that I finally got my hands on, as well as some creator tools and things that we checked out during CES that will really set the trend for this year of technology. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. As always, if you'd like to win something, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel, drop a like in this video, and also leave a comment down below with your Instagram username and we'll be contacting a winner directly on Instagram in two weeks. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So one company that I've seen a lot of lately is Hoto. And I've been buying the products myself because I was very curious. They just have such well-designed home tools such as like a drill, electric screwdriver. I also came across this and it is a blower and a vacuum two in one. First off, it is able to work as a vacuum. So say the desk is a little bit dusty. I've got this little piece here. I can just go ahead and vacuum things up very quickly. It's super small, light, and portable. Even for your car, it can be a very handy tool. But at the same time, the back works as a compressed air can. And you can use that to dust things off, such as tech products, screens, and TVs. And these are things that we use all the time. Whether it is just filming or for day to day, we're always vacuuming surfaces off and also just making sure there's no dust on things that we're filming. And in this case, you have up to 15,000 PA of suction and an airflow of 22 meters a second. And it has a high speed air pump at 500 liters a minute. It really is a four in one product and beyond like vacuuming and blowing, it can also do inflating and vacuum sealing, but I just haven't really used it in those scenarios but I do feel like using it for inflating things can also be very handy. We've also checked out their tools such as the electric screwdriver. They also have an electric drill and that's what we featured in our holiday gift guide. But it's just one of those like companies where I checked out a few of their items and I ended up buying more and more of it as time went on. So the next product right here is the Mode Loop. And Mode has been one of my favorite companies recently because you guys have seen us feature so many of their amazing keyboards that feature Walnut, custom design, and it's just so well crafted. As someone who has seen so much tech over the years, I think what's really become exciting for me is seeing products that really push the boundaries and try to be a little bit different. This new product is a new form factor that has a little like keypad on the side. It is not their most portable option. They have other options on their site as well, but I went with a more fun approach this time. A cream color with a copper insert. And on top of that, these keycaps are from their new collection. And I think with like a retro look that I've gone with and some of the interior design stuff that we've done recently, it just really goes with that in general. What I also love is that it is well machined. All of their products are very well machined. This weighs a lot. I mean, it's not gonna shift around on your desk. It has amazing grip, but for the keyboard nerds out there, you're able to customize the keys, the keycaps, pick the different types of switches depending on what suits you best. But in this case, I mean, this looks absolutely incredible. Let's just go for like a little type test here. I would say this keyboard is really good for anyone who is looking for a productivity mechanical hybrid. A productivity desk setup is one where you have like beautiful design and something that you're really excited to sit in front of throughout the entire day. It may not be made specifically for gaming, but it can be used for gaming as well. But it's definitely something that you should check out. You can go ahead and pre-order this in late February, but I mean, just look at it. It looks incredible. And you guys have seen me check out so many of the mode keyboards in the past, and it's just a really fun brand. So perhaps one of the most controversial products to my recent memory is the Dyson Zone. I mean, it looks absolutely crazy. I don't blame anybody. And with the pandemic and stuff, it's a product that made a lot of sense, but now it has actually become available for purchase and I finally got my hands on it. It comes in at a price point of $950 and in essence, it is a noise canceling headphone that also has the purification function. And Dyson is a company that likes to get creative, likes to flex their engineering muscles, and they've done so here. 
It is a product that in a lot of ways is extremely over-engineered and from the driver to the actual purification system, it is all designed in-house by Dyson instead of partnering up with a headphone company. For starters, as a headphone, I mean, it is absolutely massive. You can see here, you have like these giant vents on the side and as someone who has a pretty big head, they do still look like very sizable headphones and they're also very comfortable. Definitely not the lightest out there, but I will say the comfort is really good. It has like this like microfiber lining to it and on the sides, it emulates elements that show the actual purification going on as it is doing it and that is also how you replace the filter. From a sound quality standpoint, I mean, they sound incredible. At the size, I definitely did expect a lot, and I will say it does live up to those expectations. They sound great, they have great levels of bass as well, the driver size is proficient, and you can also customize the EQ and the sound characteristics within the app itself. So the question comes down to, I guess, what do you think of the way the headphones look? Are you okay with the weight of them, even though it is very evenly distributed? and whether or not you feel like you're paying for the design, the brand, the purification, or the sound quality, that is where the decision kind of comes in. But I will say Dyson has done a really good job considering it is a headphone that they have engineered in every aspect from the ground up. So here we are at Lifen's booth at CES 2024 and it looks like they brought the Apple store to here because it is one of the most beautiful booths and they have some amazing products to showcase. This is the brand new Lifen Wave and you can see these beautiful design toothbrushes that also have amazing features that beat out all the competitors including an oscillating feature as well as a high vibrations per minute count that is two to three times its closest competitor. So as we come over here you can see it comes in a beautiful packaging and we had the chance to check it out at home as you guys seen but this is just an amazingly well designed toothbrush and we're going to talk about the processes of that as well here taking a look at the demo station it comes in three different models it has the abs model that comes in at a base price as well as a stainless steel and an aluminum one my favorite one by far is definitely the aluminum one right here and the way to use it is simple. You press the embedded button and it has three different modes that you're either able to use as default modes or you're able to utilize the Lifen app to control every single aspect in terms of the vibration intensity, the oscillation, as well as the time. So you can set a standard time of two minutes or you can make it longer or shorter. And you can see here, you can actually get two different types of heads. And so by holding it for a few seconds, it is able to rotate throughout the different modes and you can also set it to airplane mode so it doesn't turn on by itself when it's in your bag or while you're traveling. So being able to set customized modes from the app for defaults on your daily brush, whether it is morning, daytime, or evening is really nice. But beyond that, it's also coming with three different types of brush heads. You have the gentle brush head, which is more to use in the beginning as you get used to this type of electric toothbrush and you have like a daily one and a deep clean. So depending on your preferences and the sensitivity of your gums, you're able to pick the one that works best for you. And I also love the fact that they also have a clear option here for the brush head to see how the actual oscillating head works. So as you hold this down for a few seconds, you can see the brush physically oscillate up and down because the way that you're supposed to brush your teeth is actually up and down. And as you navigate it throughout your mouth on the cycle, it is able to ensure the best clean possible because it has a 60 degree oscillation. It also has 66,000 vibrations per minute, which is the highest in the industry. And so in a combination of the oscillation as well as a high vibration, you're able to get the best clean possible while being very gentle in the mouth. Some of the recent products that we've checked out are from DJI, and I've always gone to DJI when it comes to creator tools, whether it was their drone series, which dates all the way back, to their expansion into gimbals, microphones, and just portable cameras that are a very unique form factor for any creator out there. And I think these two products are really the highlight. It's the DJI Mic 2 system, as well as the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. It's a really cool camera because it allows people who don't traditionally want to deal with all of the crazy camera stuff, gimbals, stabilization, settings, and all that in a very simple form factor. And what I also love about it is the fact that it is really portable, but it records really high quality video. 
This really is a camera that is able to integrate into any workflow, whether it is horizontal or vertical video, and provide that extra dimension. It also features D-Log, so you are able to grade the footage. But I love this for recording stuff such as real estate tours. It is able to provide better image quality that is more cinematic than what you find on your smartphone. But you can also just like walk it around and you can ensure that the footage will be stabilized and in focus, and you can also have it track subjects. And so, that is why I love to have a tool like the Osmo Pocket 3. It's also really good for press conferences and also sporting events, but the tool that goes in line with it is the mic system. A lot of times microphones are really annoying to deal with. You have to like set up the transmission, they break, and this is a very versatile microphone that I just got literally a few days ago because it is the second generation of the DJI mic system. It pretty much looks the same. It does have a more of a translucent design to it, but the audio quality is also improved. There's also AI noise reduction. And the most important thing in my opinion is the 32-bit flow. So you don't have to worry about your audio peaking. You can just turn it on, start recording internally right away. But there's also the receiver here that you can plug into your camera or you can plug into your iPhone or Android device very easily. If you're just looking for a casual mic system, you don't really need to upgrade to the new one, but for professional recording, this has actually been a microphone that has replaced our higher end wireless microphones that just aren't up to date. So having this whole case, amazing battery life and everything makes your life so much easier. And I also love the improved metal case from the original generation, which was a plastic case. So the next product right here is the Dreamy X30 Ultra, and it's a company that's been making a lot of amazing robot vacuums for quite a few years now, and in a very competitive space, each company is launching unique features to set itself apart, and these are some of the features that the X30 Ultra specifically has based on my testing at home, but also checking out their booth and learning more about the product at CES 2024 recently. So this robot vacuum is the flagship in their lineup. First off, it looks amazing. A matte black finish on the outside, gold accents, fluted surface, and in addition to that, it also has some amazing features with industry leading suction and battery life that is being extended, as well as AI technology that features LiDAR navigation. Not only does it have a LiDAR on the top, as well as a camera on the front and the bottoms, but it does an amazing job of being able to avoid a whole range of objects and obstacles, and that is something that has been developed and improved over time. In addition to that though, the best feature is probably the anti-tangling. It doesn't have any brushes where things can get caught, but instead it pushes the dust and the large objects into the funnel and it actually has a cutter to chop up any pieces that it's not able to process initially and avoid any sort of tangling on the brush itself. Another one of my favorite features of the X30 Ultra is the Mop Extend technology that is equipped with advanced edge detection and the Dreamy's robotic flex arm clean hard to reach edges, corners, and low areas such as underneath the kitchen cabinets and the base of the kitchen island, for example. So let's go ahead and talk more about the tech aspects during our visit to CES 2024, but it's been a great time testing out this robot vacuum in my house, which is about 1,500 square feet. So here we are checking out the Dreamy booth at CES 2024, and this is a flagship product. It is a Dreamy Bot X30 Ultra, and it is absolutely beautiful. You guys have just seen some of the interior design stuff I've done over the past few years, and having like this like vertical matte black sliding with gold trim, I mean, it just looks absolutely incredible, and that is the first thing that I noticed, because a lot of times robot vacuums can be kind of hit or miss when it comes to design. So when it comes to features, there are a lot of different things, and we're gonna demonstrate this in my house as well, but here they have different surfaces, including hardwood floor, carpet, and tile, and that showcases the suction power, which is industry leading at 8300, as well as the ability to mop, and then a few additional smart features as well. One of them is the tangle-free brush. When you have stuff like long hair or large things that are suctioned in, a lot of times I can get caught in the brush and you have to like manually get it out, but this actually has little blades that are built in, like a razor, and it'll chop it up into small pieces and be able to consume or vacuum it a lot easier. But on top of that, this is a whole station for your home. The battery is 260 minutes, which can cover over 2,600 square feet on a single charge, but what is also nice about it is that it has an auto emptying bin and also the dust collection, which can collect up to 75 days of dust before you have to actually empty out this system. It really is a hands-off experience. It is even able to clean its own base under where the vacuum is housed during charging. So 
they've thought of everything here. And I mean, it just looks absolutely incredible. So let's go ahead and show you guys some of the demos that they have at the booth at CES 2024. In addition to like looking around, they have their cordless stick vacuums, the wet dry vacuums, other models in their robot vacuum and mop lineup, and even hair dryers. So super cool to check out, but specifically the DreamBot X30 Ultra is what we're here to see. And from the design to the features, it is a super innovative product. So another product that has really been trending lately is the Ninja Creamy. I've seen so many different TikToks and reels of it, and so we had to go ahead and try it out. And it's something that allows you to make at home ice cream that is healthy or unhealthy by mixing your own ingredients in and even making something like a slushy or McFlurry. And the one I went with was the Ninja Creamy Deluxe, which has the 11 modes compared to eight, I believe. And the way it works is you go ahead and put all your ingredients in, whether it's almond milk, coconut milk, cream, or whatever you want really. You put it in the freezer for a day and then you take it out and you're able to mix it into an ice cream, sorbet, slushy, or pretty much anything on that list that you want. And I will say that it works pretty decently. It definitely doesn't replace ice cream. I still think store-bought ice cream tastes the best but it is still really fun to use. And being able to mix in your own ingredients and knowing what exactly goes into your special treat is important. The things that I didn't like about it is that it does take a bit of a learning curve. It took a few attempts of trying and mixing different ingredients and it was a little bit frustrating, but after you get it down, you can really make your own recipe and being able to mix in the ingredients is great. And the fact that you're able to do that at home and get creative with it is why you should go ahead and check it out. But if you're trying to find something that directly replaces like a store-bought Ben & Jerry's ice cream, you're not gonna find that with the Ninja Creamy, but the end result was still solid once you figured it out. You just have to be a bit patient. So the next product right here is one that you've probably heard of before, and that is the Opal Tadpole. I had the original Opal webcam, and it was pretty solid in many ways, but I think the industrial design elements, as well as the software features and everything, really come together as the ultimate webcam. It really is the first portable webcam that is made for your laptop, and whenever you're in like a coffee shop or just traveling around, Having a better webcam than one that is built into your laptop, even though they have gotten much better, can come in really handy. It has a uniquely designed clip that just goes onto any laptop that you want. The cable is braided and there's a cable management thing here and it's available in white and black and I think it just looks so cute. At the same time, it has a powerful Sony sensor with an f1.8 aperture, so in low light scenarios, it's gonna be pretty good. But on top of that, it also has a directional Visa mic that only captures what the camera can see. And there's also an integrated tap to mute capacitive button on the USB cable itself. The image quality is really good. I use it for some of the podcasts that we're on, just as a guest podcast, when I don't wanna set up a full camera. But I would say it is an improvement from the camera that is built into your laptop, for example and at the same time, super portable, super well designed, and has a great set of tools and software to go with it that goes in line with the great design of the product itself. Another home tech product that I picked up recently is the Hatch Restore 2 system. Waking up in the morning is a little bit difficult sometimes, and so I ended up picking up this product because it is able to gradually emulate lighting effects, whether it is sunrise or a whole different range of color options that you would like at a given time of day. And starting 30 or 45 minutes before my desired wake up time, I think it looks great. And I've kind of gone with products that were a cream color recently. I think it just looks very neutral because everything else in my house is white and it goes very well with the oak as well. But it was on sale during the Black Friday season. And I feel like at the price point, it really comes down to how you use the features. So if you're looking for a nice little bedside accessory, the Hatch Restore is definitely one to go ahead and check out. But I do feel like the app could use a little bit more customization, but I do like to use it as like a gradual night light during wind down and of course for the wake up function. So the next product right here is the Anchor 737 and I've been looking for an ultimate power brick for quite a while now and this really does exemplify all that. Right off the bat, if you're looking for a smaller power brick, there are so many great options out there. Anchor has a good one but there's also a lot of other brands that you can find on Amazon that are even thinner but this has 24,000 milliamp hours of juice and it's able to provide power output over 140 watts. So especially when it comes to charging our cameras as well as laptops, having that high wattage output and large capacity is really important. 
But beyond being a traditional battery pack, it also displays all the information on the screen itself, which tells you how much time it's going to take to charge the power brick, but also how much time it takes to charge the devices that are plugged into it. On top of that, it has two USB type C ports as well as a USB type A port, but I just think it's a really handy Swiss army knife of a battery pack if you're in the production field or you have a bunch of things to charge. The only thing I don't like is how it has like a gloss finish on the front, really prone to fingerprints and scratches, but otherwise from a functionality standpoint, it is my favorite one so far. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cool Tech. And as always, let me know what your favorite product is because there are so many different categories. Some of them are more useful, some of them are crazy, and others are just like an appreciation of tech that might not be something that you would use, but it's unique in a way and you never know. It may become a trend in the future, but as always, let me know down in the comment section below. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.